Hey everyone, this is Paul, and welcome to Common Touch of Fantasy, and this is your week in fantasy news. This is episode number three. We'll see what's going on in the fantasy world this week. The new releases for fantasy this week are pretty good. We have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. It's getting a lot of hype. People um, are talking about this quite a bit. There's a new mass market paperback edition of uh, Dragon Song by Anne McCaffrey with new art and um, has a new introduction by Tamara Pierce as well. Um, Lavi Tidhar, T-I-D-H-A-R, has a new book. It's called The Violent Century, a novel. Sounds pretty cool. It's kind of like a superhero espionage-ish type book set during the Cold War after World War II. We have um, Those Above by Daniel Polanski. It's been released in the UK the 26th. I'm not really sure when the release date for the US is though. And then we have Shadow by Will Elliott. That's the book number two in his Pendulum series. And then Mickey Zucker Reichart has a book. It's called Fields of Wrath, a Renshai novel. So those are the new releases for this week. Check those out. I really think that A Darker Shade of Magic and The Violent Century, a novel, and those above will be great books. Okay, now turning to news, the Nebula Awards nominees were this week, and we have quite a few um, sci-fi books in here, and a few fantasy. So for novel, we have The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Edison, Trial by Fire by Charles E. Gannon, and Silvery Sword by Anne Mackey, The Three-Body Problem by Chu Xing Lu, which is translated by Ken Liu, uh, Coming Home by Jack McDevitt, and Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. So those are the nominees for the Nebula Awards for 2014. Uh, Tor actually has uh, three uh, shorter works of fiction nominated for the Nebula. Um, you can read those on Tor.com. I'll put the link below. Those books are Sleeping, Walking, Now and Then by Richard Bowes, The Mothers of Voorheesville by Mary Rickhart, and The Devil in America by K. Ashante Wilson. Uh, check those out. Free short stories. Tor.com. I'll put the link below. Also, we have the new cover art for Ancillary Mercy by Anne Leckie. It's going to come out later this year. It's all very similar to the other books and it looks great on the shelf for sure so I'm gonna put that up and I'll put a link down below big news from Kazuo Ishigaro um, new book gonna come out it's called The Buried Giant it is a new fantasy book from uh, Ishiguro um, this is his first book since Never Let Me Go back in 2005 um, well-known author He's known for his great fiction, and he's going into the fantasy genre. Um, sounds pretty cool. Uh, the book's kind of a uh, Arthurian legend type book. It's after the Romans have left Britain, and England's trying to kind of create its own identity, and it's following Sir Gawain, actually. And it's him as an older gentleman, and he is his, like his last call of arms. It's, a lot of like lone rider-ish type um, themes in this book. It sounds cool. He's a great writer, so it's probably going to be great. Today's art news, we have a new piece by Phil McDarby. He actually um, painted a scene of um, Ari from the King Killer Chronicles um, down underneath the university. It is gorgeous. Check that out. I'll put the link below, and I'll also be putting the picture up as I talk right now. Awesome picture. Check out that picture and then the rest of his work as well. Hey, the cover for Brandon Sanderson's Shadows of Self, the next Mistborn novel with uh, Wax and Wayne. New cover art has been revealed. It's pretty cool. It's got that gritty, westerny look to it, and I'm excited. I know that you guys are too, so check that out showing the picture now but check it out on the website as well and the last thing that I'd like to talk about is Tor 
it's going to be releasing um, books based off of off the Pathfinder tabletop game, which is pretty cool. We haven't really had a uh, uh, a book series based off of a tabletop game in a while. It's more of an older convention, but Tor thinks they can uh, bring that back and for the new generation, new readers, that it might be popular. Um, it's called Pathfinder Tales. First book is going to be by Dave Gross. It's going to be called Lords of Runes. It's going to be released on June 16th. And then there's going to be um, releases bi-monthly of Pathfinder Tales books. So hopefully they can find a market for that. Hopefully the um, younger generation will find these books while they're playing Pathfinder with friends. And it'll spark up a love for reading fantasy. Alright guys, that has been this week's fantasy news. These are the things that I found interesting, and I wanted to share them with you. Obviously, it's not everything that happened in the fantasy uh, world, but these are the things that I found interesting and I wanted to share with you guys. So, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next fantasy news next week.